always ironic how things happen in your life. And in this case, uh, 25 years ago, I became a professor here at Butler University. And incidentally, it's the same time that I started the Indianapolis Children's Choir. When we started the choir, there were really only a couple of hundred kids, which is a big number for some cities, actually. Uh, I think we started with 204 children, and every year it's grown and, and grown, and now we not only have a children's choir, but we have an early childhood division and a preparatory division and a high school choir. So we serve about 2,500 kids now. You know, when I started as a music teacher, I had no idea I would ever be involved with children's choirs. I'm a cellist. I'm a singer. I wanted to conduct professional orchestras, which I did, and I taught high school for a long, long time. You know, in Indianapolis, we have some good church choirs. We have some good school choirs. We have kids that can sing well, but we don't have a choir that can draw kids from all sorts of backgrounds, all religious backgrounds, economic, racial, social backgrounds into one experience of making great music. And the thing that really taught me and it was transforming in my life, is it, it seemed to me that prior to that, you had to be trained and trained and trained and trained until you could eventually become an artist. And you at least had to be an adult if you were going to be an artist. But it made me realize that young kids can be artists. They can sing from their hearts with their faces expressing the text and bring audiences to their feet, bring audiences to tears. They can be artists. Most choirs would only dream to sing at a national convention like the American Choral Directors Convention once in their life and we've sung four or five times and we've sung all over the world and we've sung you know for Archbishop Tutu and we've sung for presidents and 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 all of that but truly those accolades are kind of incidental to what we do what what really is the height of our accomplishment is when we save a kid you know when a kid writes to me and says I was thinking of committing suicide, but the only thing I could hang on to was this choir. That's how we measure our success, by what we do every day, every day, one kid by one kid, lifting them up, helping them be better people. You know, we sang just a few weeks ago for the Indiana Music Educators Conference, and I said to the kids, you know, this morning we didn't sing as well as we really should have. And one little girl, girl raised her hand and said, but Mr. Leck, did you not see all the music teachers crying? And I guess sometimes I forget, you know, what an impact kids can have on, on the lives of people. I have a little symbol. I tell the kids every time we're going out to perform, take your finger like this and reach out and grab somebody's heart and bring it in. And I think we do that regularly. I think people are touched. It's not my goal to create professional singers. It's my goal to change lives. That every one of those people should leave the program with something special in their being. They should love poetry more. They should love music more. They should love people more. They should be more confident. And, and, and to various degrees, all those things are happening in every, every child that's touched by music.